Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to see a day in a life when I'm going to an exam. So this is my final exam at university. I'm going to defend my master thesis that I've been working uh, on over the last year. And uh, it is actually like the only thing that I've been working on in regards to school and university uh, for the last three months. So it has been pretty hectic also because I'm having this full-time position as an AI engineer doing my YouTube courses and so on. So my exam here is at 10, 15, AM in the morning, I have to defend my math thesis. It is 20 minutes presentation and then 20 to 30 minutes questions about my thesis after that. So I woke up at around 8 a.m. in the morning, about like one hour before I was going off to the university for the exam. I don't want to worry up like too early on exam dates because then I can only think about like the exam. I'm starting to get nervous and so on. I wasn't really that nervous about this exam because I was pretty like well prepared. I've been working on this project for a very long time and I knew that like the sensor and also my advisor and so on they weren't really like fully into the project and it's hard to like ask questions about like a specific project that someone has actually worked on for such a long time. So I wasn't really that nervous about this exam. I just wanted to get it over, get more free time to create content out there. So after I woke up, I took a shower, went out for a walk straight away. I usually like to go out for a walk in the morning when I'm having an exam, especially if I have the exam early in the day. Take my headphones, earpods on. Then I basically just go for a walk around like 20 to 30 minutes just to clear my head. Then I went home and grabbed a cup of coffee, packed up my stuff. And then we were basically just heading out to the university. So this is the last exam. I haven't been to the university for a long time. So I've mainly, mainly been working like from home. But yeah, I'm packing up my stuff, driving to the university, getting ready to actually like go in and, and defend my math thesis. So the drive to the university is only like 50, 15 minutes. I usually actually like take the bike to the university, but this is the last day my family were coming over after the exam and so on. So I was planning to be at the university around like 45 minutes before my exam just to get there in good time in, in case something happens. I don't want to like get too early to the university before my exams and that is usually like for all my exams because like if I head there like two to three hours before sitting there, I'm getting more nervous like instead of just like heading up to the university, just go straight in, like get it over, um, just be as prepared as possible. But even though that like you're fully prepared, you will always be nervous to some extent. So this is basically just like a test talk or test presentation I did the day before. So the day before I actually like just went through my report. Like, of course, I've written the whole report. So I already know like what's going on. Um, you don't have to like prepare that much when you're actually like doing your mass visas and so on. At least I didn't have to. Um, I just had to like create my presentation, go over my presentation a couple of times just to make sure that everything was perfect. We have these key marks detected. So this is for the closed targets. So the four Lord light sources in the front. And then we also have an example with the four light sources in the back where the monkey act like has to move from its starting position to be able to reach the light sources. So now we're going to talk about like the experiments and the trials for the neural recording and start to introduce like how the data set structure act like looks like. So now we're going to introduce the project goals where we want to process like the monkey brain recordings for channel selection and also data simplification. And then go through my report to see if there's some some areas that they can actually like ask questions to and just be fully prepared for all the questions that they might act like from me. I didn't really get nervous too much. Like, of course, I, I got nervous because this also means a lot to me and I want to like make my parents, grandparents and family proud. But I didn't really get nervous compared to some of the other classes that I've been taking throughout the years. So it's not really the same as if you're going to like uh, take the exam for statistics course or math course or something like that, where you will always like in the back of your mind, there will always be like this question. Can the, can the teacher actually like ask questions that I haven't like thought about or I just don't know at all. And that is the that is the main problem that I've been having like throughout my university degrees and so on when I was going to the exams. Once you start, like once you're like 20, 20 seconds into the like conversation, everything just drops, like you won't be nervous anymore. Basically just when you're preparing for exams, if you, if you get nervous, just all you think about is only the first, like it is just a step inside of the actual like, classroom that you're nervous. Once you get started, when you're 20 seconds in, you will not be nervous at all. A lot of people like they spent days on being nervous up to the exams and then after the exams it was just like why was I even nervous for like two days. So before I actually like, go into an exam I also try to think about okay do I actually like know the curriculum? Do I actually like know what I need to know before going into this exam? Am I satisfied with, un with what I know? And then the results like the grade that you get at ex an exam it doesn't really matter at all. Like I have been prepared for so many exams. I know the curriculum. Um, I've, been, I've actually been to computer vision uh, exams 
AI exams and so on and got like a B or something like that, even though I knew like most of it, but it really just depends on the day, the questions that they ask and so on. So the, the grade doesn't really determine like how much you know and so on. So just keep that in mind. Just ask yourself, am I satisfied with what I know about the curriculum after taking the class and so on? And then just believe in yourself and then the result doesn't really matter at the end. Just make sure that you're actually satisfied with the work that you have done and also the knowledge that you have gained by taking this course and reading up for the exam. Here I'm coming out from the exam, I got an A plus, so I was really like satisfied with that. So finishing off university, it meant a lot to me because right now, like it has defined my whole life. Now I'm independent. Now I can basically just do whatever I want to do. Keep building my YouTube channel, build content for you guys. So again, it meant a lot to me. I was really looking forward to celebrate it with my family as well. Have some nice food, some barbecue, um, basically just having a good time. So most of my family were coming over after the exam. I got some pretty nice presents as well. And really enjoyable day was really looking forward to getting it done basically so i can just focus more on my full-time position all the things that i'm doing with my youtube channel and creating content for you guys